Number two is to never keyframe on the geometry or to rig for change. And here's an example. Here we have an animation. Oh, isn't that lovely? Now let's look. The cylinder itself is locked. There are attributes are locked. You can't actually grab it. Can't animate it. Animator cannot do anything with this. Instead, we have a group node that has all of the information in it. Now later on in Rigging Life, you learn how to put a controller on there. Animator's controllers actually hold the information in it. And what does this give you? Well, this gives you the ability to do an animation with just a blocked in rough piece of geometry and then replace it with something that's been modeled. So here I'll turn on hide this. Here is nice geometry. I will just make it a child of this group and now it will inherit the animation. How's that? Oh, just to prove to you. I take it out. It's not animating on its own. It's pulling the, an the animation from the animation group there. And that in itself will save you in your simple prop animations for your senior project. If you have a friend modeling and you want to go ahead and get started animating, just make sure that your bottom parts are lining up better than my example. And one more tip on your geometry. Later on in life when you're skinning, you can't, and using reference files, you cannot lock attributes. That starts to mess things up. Um, but for normal pivot points, you can, and when you skin, it locks it itself.